Hello everyone, it's Honey again with part 7, I think, <laughs> of um, making a lab book a la Nick the Booksmith. Though I'm doing some things different than she does. But okay, she is my teacher. <laughs> and uh, she has beautiful and very uh, clear videos. Tutorial. Well... Uh, I like the way she uh, explains things. I like her sense of humor, so I recommend watch her videos so you know what I am doing. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I think this is going to be a short one because um, I want to do two things, and that's. Um, make something on the spine so I can make an elastic uh, cord here to put papers behind and uh, where do I have them? I cut it two pieces of cardstock from a 12 by 12 pad and um, I think it's this one yes this one this one is it it is it's a uh, yeah mix and match refreshing basics design block okay I cut a little piece off from the 12 by 12 so it's a bit smaller than 12 inches so it fits there and there and then I have this little stroke and I think maybe I can use it here in the middle so it well it matches so uh, what I'm going to do is glue those two pockets on nothing more just only those two pockets I'm not going to decorate it yet. I'm not sure what to do with it, but that's the base. And I'm going to uh, put some holes in here with eyelets and then put some elastic around it and glue the whole thing in here. That's the plan. So I'm going to glue the pockets in first and I want um, to have a little thing in it just measure I want to know what the middle is because I always eyeball it wrong <laughs> uh, there 11 and a half so it's 10 Oh no, I have to, 28, it's 14, 14, like that. That's the middle. So, that's enough. So, uh, I chose this paper because I can write on it if I want to. So I'm going to glue those two in. Like so. this one like so that's So. 
So those are going to be the two pockets. Let that leave that to dry. And then I will Yeah. Eyelets. So I have some eyelets. And well, such a thing. I don't have a crocodile. Um I have to punch some holes in there. Don't know if this is big enough. Don't know. I will measure it. If I can open is it this. I like this color and I have plain breads, breads with a flower, a flower, such a bread, no eyelet, it's not a bread, it's an eyelet. Oh, I have very little ones, well, those are too little, too small, I guess. Uh, those are it. Well, I don't know if they fit through. Yes, they fit through. So I can do this one. Or maybe... No, this is too big. Yeah, don't like that. But I like this one. A little flower. Could do that. So... Um, where shall I put them? Half an inch, centimeter. That thing is dirty. Should clean it. Half an inch, no, a centimeter. No. Eight millimeters. Eight millimeters. Eight millimeters, so I will punch a hole in there in the middle. I hope. Oh, that's the wrong. No, that's the good one. One there, and one over there, and that thingy. I never know how to push this. Like so. I hope so. <laughs> I can get it off. Well, it's not beautiful. Maybe I should use my hammer. not that beautiful. Maybe I should use just a plain one. That doesn't work. I do the plain one and I hope maybe I should use this one. No, yeah. I don't know. Does that fit? That fits. Now squeeze. I think I should buy a crocodile. <laughs> it goes wrong. Okay, that went wrong. Uh, I repaired it again. 
reinforce it a bit with tape. I want to try it again with the same uh, same piece of paper because I want to use that piece of paper. So punch a hole in it again and try it again. I will reinforce the whole thing later on. So maybe it goes okay now. Squeeze. That looks okay. Now I have to pull it off again. And that's where it went wrong. Yeah! Yippee! Now I will take my hammer and flatten it a bit. So, if you don't have a crocodile, well, you have to do it this way. The other side. Oh. Oh, could you see it? Squeeze, I hope. Please, please. Yeah, that went okay. Now I have to pull it off again. Please. Without tearing it. <laughs> I hope you have better stuff to work with than I have. Yeah. Okay, and flatten it a bit. Okay, ready. So now I have this. It's a bit kaput, but okay. You hardly see it. Now I will take some elastic. And because it's not so thick stuff, well, it will go this way or more like this way. So let's try like so. I will do it that way. Leave enough to tie a knot, like so. And now, I think I'm going to get some tape here and there. To secure it. I don't have smaller tape. Well, I will do it this way. Just reinforce the whole thing. Like so. Cut that off. Sticky. 
<laughs> and now the other side. Here is the spine. And now I will glue this in. I hope that that will work. And just cut a piece of elastic off. That should do. And now I hope I can glue this on in a proper way. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, I'll try. Just put lots of glue on it. So I hope that's enough. And now glue it on. Like so. Well, it's not dry yet, but I uh, put some washi tape on here just to uh, hold it down. Uh, when you want to uh, do it the same way, I recommend a bit <laughs> wider piece of uh, paper or cardstock to glue on. But yeah, I wanted to do it this way, so I will try it. Um, I will pull the washi tape off again when it's dry, and I hope that succeeds. But if it doesn't, well, <laughs> well, then I have washi tape on here, and I don't mind really so now I let it dry and when I can pull it off I'll be back when it's dry well it's dry now and it sticks very well and I couldn't get off the washi tape yes I could but some parts were ripping so I decided to let it on and I don't I, I like it I don't mind so what I did this time was two pockets in the middle with elastic so you can put something under there not this of course but you can put some paper on there. Well, that's it for now. And um, I think that uh, the next part I will. Yes, what will I do? Cover things up, I think, with some embellishments. And maybe I do something about the cover. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.